Welcome to Unique Hotel Management Education Creating a new world in hospitality industry. Today we are with a new topic about stocks, sauces and gravies. Stocks, sauces and gravies. Stocks. What is a stock? Why are they known as fond de cuisine? Ingredients that go in a stock. Different types of stocks. Uses of stocks. Guidelines for stock production. Definition. Stock liquor has a base of water into which flavor from selected bones, vegetables and herbs is extracted by a gentle boiling process. Stocks form the base for many culinary products including soups, sauces, gravies and main courses. A stock is flavorful liquid made by gently simmering bones or vegetables in a liquid to extract their flavor, aroma, color, body and nutritive value. Types of Stock White stock, brown stock, fish stock, fumet, vegetable stock, dashi stock, yakni stock, white stock, made from bones or vegetables. Bones are blanched or sweated. White mire poiks may be used. No tomato product. Used primarily for white sauces and clear soups. Blanch bones, start in cold water. Skim scum. Drain water, rinse bones. Refill pot with fresh water. Bring to simmer, simmer 5-6 hours. Add raw mire poiks during final hour of cooking. Add sachet during final half hour. Strain, cool, store. Brown stock. Made from bones or vegetables. Bones are roasted. Vegetables are caramelized. Tomato product is used, browned. Primarily used for brown sauces, stews, and braises to accompany full-flavored meats. Brown bones. Remove bones to kettle. Add liquid to bones, bring to simmer, skim. Brown Meyer poiks and tomato product. Deglaze Meyer poiks, reserve. Simmer bones 8 hours, skim frequently. Add Meyer poiks during last hour. Add sachet during last half hour. Strain slash cool slash store. Uses of stock. As a base for sauces and soups. As a base for stews and braises. As a cooking medium for vegetables and grains. Steps of making stock. Combine the major flavoring ingredient and cold liquid. Bring to a simmer. Skim as and when necessary throughout cooking time. Add the mirepoix and other aromas at the appropriate timings. Stages. Simmer the stock until it develops flavor, body and color. Strain, use immediately or cool and store. Guidelines for stock production. Choose fresh ingredients. Scrape the bones to remove all fat. Cut the bones into smaller pieces. Place the ingredients in cold water. Use clean equipment. For brown stocks, the bones need to be roasted to a good brown color. On boiling, skim, degrease and simmer the stock. Do not agitate the stock. Do not season. Once ready, strain in a clean container through a cheesecloth. Don't use too much liquid. 2.5 kg bones for 4 liters liquid. Use mirepoix in the last 1 hour and sachet de pices in the last 30 minutes of stocks. Sauce. What is sauce hot or cold liquid served with a dish? Sometimes cooked separately and sometimes the dish is cooked in it. Enhances flavor. Enhances appearance. Gives additional moisture or richness. Sauces must never change the flavor of the food. Sauces should be Smooth Glossy Light Distinctive Aromatic Seasoned Components of a sauce Liquid stocks, milk, water. Thickening roux, slurry, pastes. Flavoring herbs, spices. Seasoning salt, pepper, spices. Making a sauce. Produce the type of stock. Produce the type of roux. Create liaison between both. Develop physical properties, flavor etc. 
Bring to a rolling boil. Simmer. Leave for some time. Skim. Monte Obur. Characteristics of a good sauce. A distinctive texture. Body and strength. Balance. Flavor and aroma. Texture and finesse. Nutrition value. Consistency. Seasoning. Right temperature. Complement the main dish. Thickening of a sauce. Roux. Be your mani. Slurry. Whitewash. Potato starch. Arrowroot. Liaison. Blood or liver. Thickening agents. Roux equals clarified fat and flour, cooked. White roux, baking bread aroma. Used for bechamel sauce and cream soups. Blonde roux, toasted nut aroma. Used for velouté sauce and cream soups. Brown roux, deeply roasted aroma. Used for espagnole sauce, demi-glace sauce, gumbo. Uses determined by color, flavor. The darker the roux, the stronger the flavor. White and blonde roux have approximately the same thickening power. Minus 16 ounces thickens 1 gallon of liquid to medium consistency. Brown roux thickens only half as well. Roux stores well. It may be made in bulk and stored sealed and cool for indefinite period of time. Hot roux to cool stock or vice versa. When combining the two they should be opposite in temperature. This helps them to combine smoothly with few lumps. Slurry. A mixture of refined starch, cornstarch or arrowroot, and water. Mix water into starch until the consistency of heavy cream. Bring liquid to be thickened to a boil. Whisk slurry into boiling liquid. Liquid thickens instantly. One tablespoon cornstarch or half a tablespoon arrowroot thickens one cup liquid. Mother sauces. Bechamel. Velouté. Espanol. Hollandaise. Mayonnaise. Tomato. Bechamel. Milk thickened with white roux. Used for base of cream soups and white sauces. Lightly seasoned with nutmeg or clove. Derivatives. Moranade grated cheese and egg yolks. Soubies with chopped onions and past. Onion with chopped onions not past. Parsley with chopped parsley. Cream cream, milk, and yogurt. Velouté. White stock thickened with blonde roux. Used as base of pale meat sauces, stews, and some cream soups. Derivatives. Supreme subtle flavor of mushrooms with liaison. Cardinal scarlet shellfish stock, lobster colors and truffles. Bonfemme mushrooms and cream. Ivoire supreme with a meat glaze. Alman supreme with nutmeg. Or or supreme with tomato puree. Espanol. Brown stock thickened with brown roux. Used for base of all brown sauces, stews, braises. Often refined to demi-glace before final use. Derivatives. Robert the King of Naples mustard, onions, vinegar and demi-glace. Bordelais demi-glace with red wine. Chasser shallots, mushrooms, parsley, red wine and demi-glace. Diabol deviled cayenne pepper, red wine, shallots and demi-glace. Hollandaise. Figaro tomato puree and celery. Grimaud saffron. Maltese orange juice and orange rind. Anisette with nutty brown. Bayronnaise with chopped tarragon. Karen bayronnaise with tomato puree. Rachel bayronnaise with artichoke hearts. Rubens bayronnaise with anchovy and shrimps. Verona bayonnaise with anchovy and spinach puree. Hollandaise sauce. Warm emulsion of butter fat in water. Clarified butter or whole butter may be used. Should be strained to remove cooked egg particles. Can be held warm for two hours, then discard for safety. Breaks easily. Hollandaise method. Heat clarified butter or soften whole butter. Prepare reduction. Deglaze reduction with water, strain. Add egg yolks and whisk to combine. Place yolks over gently simmering water bath. 
Whisk yolks overheat until ribbon appears. Remove from flame, but keep over warm water. Slowly whisk in butter, 3 ounces per yolk. Adjust seasoning and acidity. Strain if needed. Hold warm, 120 to 140 degrees. Troubleshooting hollandaise. Broken. Too much oil or too rapidly applied. Eggs overcooked. Held too warm. Held too cold. Fixing. Slowly whisk broken sauce into warm water. Or make small saba yawn. Slowly whisk broken sauce into this. Mayonnaise. Ioli garlic. Grib each served with game capers, tarragon, chives, vinegar, hard boiled eggs. Tartar capers, gherkins, parsley, and hard boiled eggs. Rame laid tartar sauce with anchovy. Proprietary sauces. Industrially made. Regional many types of soya sauces and chili sauces. Traditional and classical Tabasco. Secret recipes LP, HP. Tomato ketchup. Contemporary sauces. Pesto basil based sauce from Italy. Chimichurri parsley and chili base from Argentina. Harissa red chili and herb sauce from Africa. Romesco chili and nut based sauce from Catalonia. Middle Eastern sauces Babaganuj, Tarator, Tzatziki. Hummus, tahini. Trends in sauce making. Light sauces. Very subtle flavors. Highly nutritious. Low calorie. Less starch and thickening. Balance and blending of textures and flavors. Presentation value on plate. Intensity and strength varies. Chef's own interpretation of approach to cuisine. Gravies. The four main gravies used in Indian cooking are White gravy Hara Ioli gravy Makhni gravy Brown onion gravy Basic gravies Onion tomato masala Makhni White gravy Hara Ioli gravy Onion tomato masala Also known as Labadar or brown gravy Use equal part of onion and tomatoes Used as a base for various curries especially in North. Makhni gravy. Popular gravy from North India. Also added with onion tomato masala to make various curries. Used as a base for various other regional gravies. White gravy. Mostly used in Mughlai dishes. Also forms a base for many regional gravies. Hara Ioli gravy. Used as a base in many other regional gravies. Regional gravy. Kadai gravy tomato based. Acre gravy pureed tomato based gravy tempered with acre masala. Malai kofta gravy combination of makhni and white gravy. Yakni gravy from Kashmir, yogurt based gravy. Mughlai yellow gravy derivative of white gravy colored with saffron. Rajasthani yellow gravy yogurt based gravy flavored with a safetida and turmeric. Rizala gravy derivative of white gravy with addition of yogurt and spices. Regional gravy. Kaurma gravy derivative of white gravy with addition of tomato paste and fried. Onion paste. Mustard gravy regional gravy from Bengal made with combination of yellow. And black mustard seed paste. Salon gravy from Hyderabad, served as accompaniment with biryani. Mean moily South Indian curry of fish and turmeric flavored coconut milk. Gravy. Indian restaurant food versus homemade Indian food. Indian cooking at home is very different from the cooking in hotel. At home, each ingredient is freshly processed and the food is not carried over to the next day. The food in the hotel has to be modified for various reasons such as Certain amount of dishes has to be achieved in a fixed time. Guests want variety and specialities and do not want to eat what they eat at home every day. Technically, some dishes would take enormous amount of time if started from scratch. The basic mise en place is kept so that it is easier to turn out dishes in a more authentic way. Preparation of Gravy Important points for making gravies. The cuts of vegetables, 
such as onions and tomatoes should be of the same size, as they will cook alike. Always smoke the mustard oil and take it off the fire and bring to a stable temperature before adding any spices for tempering. Let the onions turn brown first and then add the ginger garlic paste. Make a paste of spice powder with water and then add to the browned onions. When using chopped tomatoes in the gravy, add browned onions and keep mashing them in with small amounts of water. Cook the gravy on dumb for some time. This is done by covering it and keeping it on a hot plate to let the oil come to the surface. Add small amounts of salt in the beginning and also season the food towards the end. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like comment, share and do not forget to click on red button to subscribe my channel so that you will not miss any of my videos. If you have any suggestion regarding any of my videos please write on the comment box. If you need any of the videos on any topic please let me know through the comment box. Thank you once again to you all for watching.